let's talk about this. Submission Underground 2. So we actually have John Jones, who we know uh, is on the shelf for a little bit. He's going to be uh, uh, appearing in your event, actually taking on Hendo. Just tell me a little bit about the event. Yeah, man, you summed it up right there. Dan Henderson and John Jones. They were supposed to fight way back at UFC 151. That was the first ever UFC that was ever canceled. And uh, I never thought we'd get these two together. I don't think any promoter thought we'd get these two together. When I first heard a, a, about the Submission Underground event, I thought, you know, with John has going on right now, that, that that might affect him being able to fight. But the way you're, you know, describing it, it sounds like that kind of opened him up to be able to fight. Yeah, it's just the opposite. In fact, I'll use myself as an example. I was just sitting in the principal's office, the exact same thing. Uh, that John's going through now. I had to do two years. He's about to serve 12 months. Uh, but the bottom line is I can't get a license to compete. He's in the same spot. He can't get a license to compete in unarmed combat. Because this is grappling and we are the sanctioning body, it won't have to go through the same jurisdiction in, in terms of needing a license. So he's able to do it. In fact, it's all he's able to do uh, until he runs out that clock. Now, we went to John Jones uh, first before we went to Dan Henderson. And we were discussing some possible names. And uh, we wanted to put him with a guy named Vinny. And Vinny's probably the best grappler there is alive. And John goes, you know what? If I'm going to do this, he said, there, I've got some unfinished business in this with Dan Henderson. He said, if, if I'm going to participate, get me Dan Henderson. Well, on paper, Dan Henderson's better. I, I mean, don't forget, this is a grappling event. Grappling, no, no strikes. And uh, Dan Henderson's a two-time Olympian for this country. So on paper, this could be the first contest that John Jones has entered in the last decade that he is supposed to lose. And when you've got a guy that has as many haters as John has, and that just comes with the territory of success, but it's the one time where they might actually get what they want, which is John Jones doing a competition and not getting his hand raised. 